Hey guys, this is Jaren, and uh, I wanted to make a demo for kill tracking. So I wanted to make a simple mod that just allows you to prove, or that would just allow me to prove that I could track player kills and then also track particular entities and see if I could kill particular entities and differentiate between them and uh, just any other entity. Okay, so let me just run my test. And what my test does is it summons a zombie that I'm actually tracking. So that's why you see that debug message. So if I kill it, then it says an entity craft zombie was killed by a craft player zomb uh, craft player with the name Balthatrix and just sends me this debug out message, uh, output message, you killed the zombie, which is the zombie that I was tracking. So the test was successful as far as that goes. Now let's see if, uh, if I just summon some random zombie and just make sure that it tracks this as well, but it should track it differently. Good, so now it says an entity craft zombie was killed by a craft player, Balthatrix, so this is still the same. Now instead of saying it, you killed the zombie, notice it says you killed some random zombie. So that part of the test is successful. Now the last part of uh, of the test is just to see if I can kill some random entity like maybe this chicken I guess and it shouldn't say either of those things when I kill this one good so the last message says an entity craft chicken was killed by me and you didn't kill a, a zombie but a craft chicken okay so all aspects of the test seem to uh, seem to work properly I guess the last part would be to see if some random entity kills an entity, then uh, it shouldn't see, say any of those messages that you saw. So if we just do a summon zombie, and then uh, here let's do let's do time set night. Perfect. So we'll do that. Summon a couple more zombies, and then we'll summon a uh, summon a villager. And then, uh, so the event should track this, but it, it oh, it's got an apron on. It should track this, but it, it, uh, it shouldn't say any of the messages that you saw before. Let's see. More zombies, more zombies. Ooh, this guy's got like a lab coat on. That's kind of cool. There we go. Okay, so see, it's tracking these other kills. An entity craft villager was killed by a zombie. See, and it looks like this craft bat was killed by something. Doesn't doesn't look like that something had an entity though. All right, so that's uh, that was the test. Now let's just look at the code. Okay, so here's the code, and um, you guys can actually reference this name, um, which is right here see if I do a rename so demo kill tracking is the name of this mod so if you guys wanted to you can look up this mod on um, on our website demo kill tracking and you should be able to look at this code on our website as well not just through this video I'll leave this this mod as part of my mod so you guys can see it but uh, alright so let's let's go over this code line by line this very first line is uh, where we set up the event handler and ent handle entity death for the entity death event okay and assuming that uh, an entity is died um, or actually before I ex explain this the other thing that we do in main other than these debug messages is we summon a zombie and this particular block of summoning a zombie allows you to assign the entity that you summon to a variable. So we assign the entity's reference to this my entity variable so that we can compare it later. All right, and that's how I differentiated between these uh, these other just random entities that died and the entity that we're actually tracking. All right, so assuming an entity is now died, this event or this uh, function is going to happen and the first thing that we do is we we get the entity that died out of the event parameter so the event parameter has an entity that died and we want to get that entity that died and store it in this variable called entity the next thing that we do is we take 
the last damage cause out of that entity. So we assign the last damage cause to this variable called LDC. And then, so this is kind of a three step process. The third step here is that we get the damager out of the last damage cause. So ultimately the damager is what we're after to see if um, a particular player has killed a particular entity. And um, so this is essentially, this is the, the damager is the uh, entity that killed this entity, if any. Okay, so like you said, like you saw in the case of the bat dying, uh, this event triggered as a result of that bat dying, but it, it didn't have a damager, so the bat died from some random cause, maybe lava or something. Okay, so once all this happens, we do some just some logical checks. The first check that we do is we check to see that the damager is me. So if the identity of the damager, the person that killed this entity, is the same as my identity, then we'll do all the rest of this stuff, which is we check to see if the entity is the same the entity that died is the same identity as the entity that we summoned, which is the zombie that we summoned. And if so, we're gonna go ahead and output this message. You killed the zombie, which is the zombie that we're tracking. Otherwise, if the the entity that died is the same type as the entity that we summoned, which I like to test by doing this create text with, because this ultimately, um, this will evaluate to craft zombie and craft zombie if both are zombies. So this means that not, not the zombie that you summoned was the zombie that died, but it's, the, it's just some zombie that was killed. So this is how you would track that, okay? And then if both of these tests fail, then we go into this else block, which just basically says, you didn't kill a zombie, but you know you killed something, you killed this entity right here. Got it? So if we switch back, I guess I'll just demo one more thing and just make sure that my kills are being tracked for other things as well. Like if I kill this spider, let's see if it tracks it. Good. So you didn't kill a craft. You didn't kill a zombie, but a craft spider. See, so it's tracking everything that we kill. All right, and that's how you guys can do kill tracking.